Hello everyone, Kaiser here, and today I'm back with a new custom figure, which is Monkey D. Luffy from One Piece. Now, if you remember around two years ago, I had made a custom Luffy work in progress video showing off my most recent, recent custom at that time. But um, I also said that I would be doing a lot more, and I definitely did. So much so that it took me this long to actually make a video about it. But I definitely think it was worth the wait, since I have done a lot with this figure to make it a lot better than what it originally was. So I hope you guys do enjoy it. One of my main inspirations for this figure was my anime heroes customs who has made some amazing luffy customs especially his most recent gear 5 luffy so a lot of inspiration and in how i made the figure um, can be traced back to him so with that let's get into the work in progress no matter what the challenges i'm gonna bounce back and I'm gonna bounce back They be overtaken when they hit the soundtrack I'm about that They be like Bruno cause they be outmatched Bugger bin villains are taken to pound land They be down bad How they don't wanna be touching rubbers I'm an outcast Bad is so high I can count the numbers Be like bound man How they be bouncing They do a runner coming loud And spitting it frigo just like my brothers They wanna taste what this fuss is about They white in the face like they bugging the clown Don't fight it's a waste I'm about to get down You having doubts I'ma tell you now I'm wearing the crown Jinbei so I got the C in my blood Leave you deceased before you reach for your gun X in my chest and my life is a treasure These people don't know what this boy has become and here we have the custom Luffy figure completed and I really like how this came out. I think it's a massive improvement over the last custom Luffy I did. It is the basic um, time skip outfit that we all know Luffy for. But it came out pretty well. Starting with the head, this is from the SH Figure Arts Luffy, the one that came out a while ago. I got it from a user on Instagram, and I'll put him on the screen. He was selling a bunch of, like, fodder, and he had quite a few Luffy heads, so I decided to buy a few um, for my custom. Worked out pretty well. I did have to change the color of the skin tone in order to match the head, but it was worth it. The um, torso is mostly sculpted to make Luffy a bit more muscular, but he can get kind of stimulated. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do, I'm going to do something to the side of my ass. And the legs are I did switch out the ball joints on the ankle of the wrist in order to make it a bit more sturdy, so I think you can get loose and broken. Clothes are made of spandex, mostly being the jacket and the shorts, and that was to just make sure the articulation isn't hindered, so he can still pose very well, and it also looks very well. I started using spandex a lot more when I watched my anime hero customs, since he uses a lot of spandex for figures, and it works pretty well. And the sash is just made out of some yellow fabric that I put a wire um, inside so that it's posable. Pretty simple stuff, but definitely works for Luffy, and he looks really good. That also goes for his accessories, which we will get into right now. He comes with a separate hairpiece for when he has his hat off, and he comes with an angry shouting face. He also comes with a... Um, kind of comedic wide open mouth face and a neutral stern look which I'll put on the screen he comes with quite a few hands but the thing about these is that they're actually from Dawson model figures um, I'm not sure why I decided to go with this um, I, I, I remember it was because I wanted Luffy to kind of have sort of big hands and Dawson model just seemed to fit so that's what I use. They work pretty well, and since I have a lot of Dawson Mall figures, I can switch out which hands I use. Oh, the hat came off. So, yeah, it worked out pretty well. Speaking of hands, he also comes with hockey arms, which I made um, out of... I can't remember which figure these arms came from, but I decided to use them for Luffy. And they came out pretty well. I do only have fists, but I do want to see if I can add some more hand options in the future um really simple you just pull the arm out and insert these in and there you go he has hockey arms 
Um, one thing I did do was I used like a clear gloss on the arms to make them look kind of shiny and metallic since that's kind of how they're depicted in the show. But yeah, pretty simple stuff. So let me get this arm back in. Actually, let me not do that since he has one more accessory, that being his giant um, third gear arm, which is also from the original SH Figure Arts Luffy. Uh, not really much I did here. I just added a ball joint to the, um, hole there so that it can fit into his arm. And there you go. It's pretty heavy, so obviously he can't hold it up. You're definitely going to need a stand for that. But I'm glad that I was able to get this, um, arm for Luffy since it is a pretty cool accessory. So yeah, pretty simple accessories for Luffy, but... They definitely work. I do want to add a bit more um, accessories, like different arms and different clothes and a separate hat so that he can have it on the back. Again, something that Luffy does quite a lot. But for now, I think these work out pretty well. So with that, we can get into size comparison. Starting with two anime hero um, characters you can see in the back. That being... Frankie and Ace as you can see they are both really tall and while it worked for Frankie this is actually a figure that I got yesterday and I really enjoy I think I might customize it that goes for Ace too um, Ace is pretty big and compared to my Luffy he might be a bit too big so I'm probably gonna customize Ace make him a bit shorter and just fit in better with Luffy but it's not too bad, and I think both of them do look pretty good. Here we have the Anime Heroes Chomper, which is the best figure in the line. Um, like, I think for Chomper, since it's a pretty small figure, it works pretty well. And I'd say it fits in with how Luffy looks here, obviously, since they're from the same time skip era. And here we have Luffy with some other famous anime protagonist heroes that being Goku, Naruto, and Ichigo and he fits in really well with my other custom anime figures since these two are from SH Figure Arts this being custom Dawson model he fits in pretty well I think technically speaking Luffy is supposed to be a bit taller but I don't know I think it works pretty well he's around the same height as um, Naruto, and that works for me. They all look really well together. I'm glad that I was able to achieve a good height for Luffy when compared to other anime figures. So yeah, that's all I have to say about my custom Luffy figure. I'm really happy with how it came out, and I definitely want to do more for him. Uh, I want to say thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I will have more videos up soon. Uh, yeah. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. We don't give a fuck, better duck, got that monkey butter. Then you got for fun, you in the trunk, got them pistol fists, the clip will leave you slump. We from the slums, so bitch, I guarantee you never get in your ass. Who the fuck are you, bitch? If you ain't got a bill, you bury body, move it. The group of missions make it different. Fucker, you bitch.